camera will move independently okay so sounds pretty cool so let's jump right into it for visual ap appealing i'm going to drag this game background okay uh, into scene view and i'm gonna duplicate this a couple of time i select the move tool and move it over something like this okay i'm gonna duplicate this one couple of time so i'm gonna move it like this now it's fine okay so uh, so create a script go to assets first right click on it create c sharp scheme name that to something like follow okay and select the main camera and you can drag that script to add component section but uh, but i'm gonna make a shake animation later on on camera so that's why i'm going to create another game object okay i'm gonna make it parent and i'm gonna select this main camera and uh, gonna make it child of that game object okay so if you want to uh, make sh shake later on you should do that else you just directly drag the script to main camera okay so i'm gonna uh, make sh shake later on so that's why i'm going to create another game object so go to hierarchy right click on it okay create empty game object i'm gonna name this to something like cam uh, parent something like that i'm gonna transform of that uh, i'm gonna go to transform of that component okay uh, and reset the transform basically we're gonna go to transform component okay i'm gonna reset that i'm gonna drag this main camera and uh, uh, i'm gonna place it uh, place it under this game parent child game object okay as you can see now the main camera is a child of our uh, camp parent game object if we move the camp parent game object okay uh, the main camera will also move with it so go to assets okay create the c sharp script of follow and select this camp parent game object okay and drag that uh, script to add component section so i'm gonna find uh, or else you can do this hit component okay hit add component and find the script whatever you have name it and attach that okay and double click that to open up in visual studio so i, I already have open up as you can see we have the start method and the update method let's remove this start method we don't need that okay and what we need we need the player position okay uh, basically we want to uh, make the camera uh, independently okay the camera will go independently okay as, as the as the speed of our uh, player so we need the player speed uh, okay we will move the camera independently uh, as the player speed so we need the player speed okay so if we go to player and we have attached the this player script as you can see we have the speed parameter over here so we're gonna add this speed to our main camera as well okay uh, basically camp parent game object we're gonna add that uh, add that speed as well so if we play around with the exposition of camp parent as you can see the camp parent will also move okay so we're gonna move that independently so we're gonna set back to zero and we're gonna go over to script once again and we're gonna go over to update function and as you know this update function calls every single frame so that's why we're going to use that because we need to move the camera okay or cam parent game object every single frame as the speed of our player so we need the player speed so what we're gonna do we need to, uh, we need to grab the reference of player before we uh, before we move our game parent game object as the speed of player so we need the uh, player script reference as you can see if we get the player reference script okay uh, we have the speed parameter over here in the top as you can see so we made it public so we can access from another class as well okay so we need the player script so we're gonna go over to follow script once again okay and we're gonna make it public so we can set an inspector firstly we need to grab the reference of the player script okay so uh, we have to type the player as the script and we're gonna call it something like player okay and close that off semicolon and control s on your keyboard to save this and head again to unity so in uh, follow script you will able to see uh, player script will uh, appear okay so what we need as we as we know we have attached our player script to our player game object so that's why we need to drag the player uh, player game object into that slot so we will have the uh, player script because we have attached the player script to our player game object so that's why okay so just wait for to compile as you can see player oh, which says none player 
okay so what we're gonna do as we know we have attached the player script to our player game object so we're gonna drag this into that slot as you can see now we have the player uh, script reference now what we're gonna do we're gonna go over to update function and as you know we have attached this script to a follow script to our game parent game object as you seen so that uh, we need to go to transform of that component first okay uh, transform basically means if I select the game pattern as you can see uh, transform and we're gonna we're gonna use this position X position as you can see if we play around with the X position the camera will move left and right so we need the X position before or before that we need the transform reference so basically we need the transform so we're gonna go to transform transform and we're gonna use this translate function okay this function will take the direction in which direction you want to go as you know we're gonna go to in the right direction we're gonna use vector 2 dot right okay so for, as you know follow script is attached to our this camp parent game object okay so uh, so the transform over here as you can see uh, basically is the game parent transform okay and we using this translate function so we're gonna go in the right direction so what we're gonna do we're gonna use vector 2 dot right basically means it's uh, x in the one okay x in the one or uh, or you can say something like uh, y in the zero okay y in the zero so uh, we're gonna use this vector 2 dot right vector 2 dot right so basically it's mean x in the 1 okay and y in the 0 so the so the cam parent will not move in the y axis okay so i'm gonna set this back to 0 once again okay once again and we're gonna go over to script once again okay a vector 2 dot right and we're gonna multiply this with our some speed okay to uh to uh, make the camera uh, as fast so instead of doing uh, multiplying with some speed what we're gonna do we're gonna multiply with our uh, player speed as we know uh, we're gonna move the game parent game object or the main camera independently as the player speed so we have the player speed reference as you can see and in player uh, player script as you can see we have created this speed parameter speed float and we made it public so we can access the speed of the player okay so we're gonna go over to follow script once again and we're gonna multiply this with our uh, player okay player dot speed player dot speed and we also gonna multiply this with our time dot delta time basically we need to make frame rate independence okay so that's why we multiplying it and close that off with semicolon so as you can see what we doing uh, we just firstly going to transform and we are using this translate function this function will take the direction in which direction you want to go so vector 2 dot right basically means 1 in the x y in the 0 and we are multiplying with our player dot speed as you can see okay and we also multiplying with time to delta time to make fra uh, frame rate independence okay so control s on your keyboard to save this and head again to unity sorry i just messed over there so uh, control s on your keyboard to save this and head again to unity so you will able to see the camp parent game object okay we have attached this uh, follow script to this our camp parent game object so basically transform means over here camp parent transform so we are moving the transform of game parent in the right direction as you seen as the player is uh, speed as you know we uh, accessing the player speed as you can see okay so control s on your keyboard to save this okay so the uh, game uh, the camp parent game object will move independently okay independently independently as the player is uh, sorry as the player is speed okay as the player is speed but if i select the player and if i just uh, register his speed okay something like if i set this to zero one second as you can see the camera is independently uh, independently going okay it's don't need the player uh, as the player is bright uh, sorry as the player is speed the camera is moving as you can see okay so it's moving independently independently okay it doesn't need the player as you can see okay so that's the reason uh, because we wanna make the shake animation clip later on so that's why we doing it okay else you don't need to do that you directly can attach the script follow script to our main game object okay main game object if you don't want to make the uh, shake animation clip it's up to you okay i hope you get the basics idea of it how you can move the camera in in this runner game independently okay so for this now 
ओके गुड बाय एंड लास्टली थैंक्स फॉर वाचिंग दिस वीडियो ओके गुड बाय